our uh, SME Morning. Profits Coaching Program. Okay, mm -hmm. this SME Profits Coaching Program is actually our onboarding program. Okay, so let me explain. So the 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 process usually takes around two weeks to fully get them to be using the platform. So mm -hmm. that's why we give them fourteen days free trial, thirty days money back guarantee. Mm -hmm. Right, Absolutely. and that one will settle the first part here. Overwhelm, right? So we we'll settle Kate. them. Overwhelm. That means to get the team yeah. on momentum takes two weeks. Are we are ready to, to get step them to, to uh, yeah. install can the I, tools? Can we pass get the them to play a daily game? Get everything to, transparent. Um, so month two and three. Yeah, but the is video is on. You have to the lack video. of leads so that they know how to get more leads, and then we oh, teach okay. them how to close more sales. Sorry. And then, sorry. let me tell a story about myself. How how I got here. Okay, so I guess we are ready to start now. We are being live streamed right now uh, and it is uh, recorded. Shah, I am passing it over to you, yeah? Okay, thank you, Nini. Assalamualaikum and really good morning to all of you. Uh, Sebelum tu saya mengucapkan terima kasih kepada pihak Yes Hello kerana membawa kami untuk bekerjasama untuk program kita pada pagi ini. Uh, walaupun secara webinar, webinar tapi ya yeah, tapi uh, terima kasih atas jemputan uh, dan terima kasih juga kepada semua peserta yang sanggup hadir secara online walaupun pada hari Sabtu yang sebenarnya hari untuk hari berehat untuk kita semua uh, terima kasih banyak uh, sebelum tu uh, mungkin saya kalau saya tengok peserta kan saya boleh nampak beberapa peserta yang selalu ikut program dari sini tapi saya akan terangkan juga uh, berkenaan apakah itu SINIC uh, secara ringkas. Uh, Sabah Creative Economy and Innovation Center ialah satu inisiatif yang ditubuhkan oleh Kabinet Sabah pada tahun 2019 dan mula beroperasi pada April 2020. Jadi kami buat program masa itu pun macam ni juga lah, online webinar. Uh, jadi kami telah beroperasi selama tiga tahun. Uh, kami merupakan agensi di bawah Kementerian Sains, Teknologi dan Inovasi Sabah (KSTI) mesti, uh, most, eh, sorry, mesti Sabah dan uh, antara kami punya uh, mandat iaitu melaksanakan program berdasarkan tiga telas utama ataupun three main pillars, uh, which are innovation driven entrepreneurship atau us keusahawanan berdasarkan inovasi (IDE). Uh, kreatif chamber, uh, ruang kreatif dan teknologi. Uh, daripada tiga-tiga bidang ni kami melaksanakan program di peringkat akak umbi lah, uh, kepada masyarakat. Uh, lepas tu dalam masa sama juga misi kami adalah untuk menghub uh, to become a bridge uh, to connect from uh, to connect from other entities to other like stakeholders. Uh, that's basically uh, uh, what is scenic. Uh, Yeah, uh, and uh, after this, uh, we will uh, we will uh, kita akan melihat uh, kita akan mendengar sendiri lah apa penerangan daripada pihak uh, YSLO, yaitu dari Kalif sendiri apa inisiatif yang mereka laksanakan selama ni selama dua jam atau pun satu jam empat puluh lima minit. Jadi over to you, Kalif. Okay, terima kasih. Assalamualaikum semua orang. Jadi kalau you nak turn on camera, boleh macam Cik Haslin. Kalau nak turn off and you nak buat benda-benda pun boleh nak dengar-dengar je. Semua okay. So I'm here, I nak sharing. Um, and then kalau you ada beberapa soalan, letak je dekat chat tu. Kalau saya nampak nanti, saya akan jawab. Um, sesi ni, kita campur-campur English BM boleh tak? Boleh Syah? Lagi bagus kat BM ke? Lagi bagus English ke? Macam mana? It's up to you. Ah, uh, I boleh cakap dua-dua. So I'm just gonna do mix. Um, uh, hi, Datin Janet. Ah, oh, Datin Janet pun ada lama tak jumpa Datin Janet. Oh my god, macam rindu betul Datin Janet. Um, so Kalif, okay. Sorry Kalif, I mencelah sikit tak? Ha. Okay, kalau yang uh, um, kami mau comfortable, orang semua orang comfortable juga kan. Kalau you rasa you lagi faham cakap Sabah, you tanya sejak sebab saya memang orang Sabah kan. Kali tu sebenarnya pandai sejak dia cakap Sabah tu. 
Um, tapi mungkin dia belum lagi terejah sikit sebab sekarang kami tinggal di uh, Kuala Lumpur kan. Jadi kalau you rasa you mau tanya soalan, you mau cakap Sabah, you rasa you lagi comfortable dengan bahasa Sabah, saya ada di sini. Saya sentiasa akan ada di sini. Jadi you boleh cakap saja, tanya soalan, ini tidak faham apa yang dia cakap tu kan macam tu just tanya and i will be um, i will help you to translate this okay all right so thank you back to you kalif okay welcome thank you again wow datin your background so nice so nice lah how's things with you yes nice to see you okay cool so today i'm just going to share my screen my name is kalif i'm going to get into it uh, kami masa dalam i think we will save some q and a at the back right so sekarang ni i'm just going to explain akan ajar sebanyak mungkin, nak tolong you all close sales dengan WhatsApp. I know uh, uh, ada few yang ada bisnes besar-besar, ada yang baru bisnes kecil-kecil, ada yang ada satu tempat, ada yang banyak-banyak tempat. So, it's okay. right? Um, it is memang untuk semua orang. Yang advance-advance tu, tunggulah uh, sampai akhir-akhir tu boleh tanya soalan. Let's give the orang-orang yang baru-baru ni, um, you know, the, we will go through some basic dulu. And then, uh, so there's going to be a few types of, types of people lah. Eh? Ada yang baru-baru, ada yang dah mid-mid tu, yang dah terror-terror sikit dan ada yang buat jatuh juta kan. So, we want to give um, uh, tolong-tolong yang orang-orang baru-baru start ni. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. It's going to take around 60 minutes, maybe 70 minutes. Lepas tu, kita buat Q&A and then kita boleh habis lah. But before tu, akan habis. Boleh? So, kalau you tengah dengar ada kat situ, boleh tekan satu tak? Satu, that means you all kat situ. Tekan satu, satu, ding, 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 ding. Alright, thank you, Errol. Just that test kalau your keyboard tu jalan ke tak, right? Thank you so much, Shah. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you, Zach. Alright. Ramai daripada likas tadi. Ada daripada daripada uh, kebusak, ada daripada um, mana lagi tempat tadi? <laughs> Dongongon. Sendakan, fui. Jauh tu, sempurna ada sempurna? Mana lagi? Tulis saja awak dari dari mana? Semua ramai pada KK Sabah, all around Sabah. Ada pada KL lah. Saya seorang dari KL. Nak datang balik the Sabahan accent mungkin lambat sikit. Okay. Alright, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, okay, boom. So hari ni, we're going to talk about macam mana nak close sale dengan WhatsApp. I know ramai yang dah buat close sale dengan WhatsApp. Tapi sekarang ni macam mana nak, nak buat sale lagi banyak? Macam mana nak buat sale supaya lagi uh, boom, right? So kalau ada soalan, just put a soalan inside the chat and then I will check it out later. All right. I will hide this. Let's get going. Yes, today is uh, sell by chat masterclass. So my team uh, dah kumpulkan semua benda-benda tips-tips, secret-secret yang best-best. I akan pass kat you guys what we're going to share today. Macam mana nak dengan WhatsApp. Okay. All right. So there's a challenge. Challenge dekat dalam dunia uh, SME ni. Ialah, oh, dunia SME ni uh, challenge-nya ialah sebab dia uh, apa? We, we are we are now having multiple conversations, multiple channels kan? So daripada dulu single channel, sekarang ada multi-channel but a lot of SME dia start dekat tengah-tengah ni. Start dekat multi-channel. Macam mana nak have more than multi-channel tapi nak integrate semua sekali, right? So that's the challenge. So uh, ramai... Um, yang yang bisnes yang guna omni channel yang dah advance dia orang integrate semua jadi kalau semua orang nampak semua orang nampak itu itu bagus tapi bila dah start multi channel ni macam pening sangat so uh, small business big problems multiple conversations multiple people across multiple channel siapa macam tu tekan satu ada macam tu kat whatsapp lah instagram lah kat mana lagi email lah ada pening right so the three, big, three biggest problem dengan sell by chat ni, okay? Yang bila I coaching dengan my team, satu is spamming. Sebab kita orang ingat we are doing sale, tapi sebenarnya kita orang tengah spamming. <laughs> Sebab tu dia orang macam tak reply balik. Ada tak dia orang tak reply balik? <laughs> Ada kadang kadang. So, sebabnya kita orang spamming. Kita orang ingat kita orang menjual ni, right? Kalau kita nampak dia orang tengah blue tick tapi dia orang tak jawab, sebab kita spamming. And then kalau sale tak banyak pun, mungkin lah sebabnya kita tekan spamming. So, I'm going to share with you apa rupanya spamming tu and how to fix that, right? Nombor tu, kita slow. Kita ke slow, team member ke slow sebab kita kan owner. Business owner kadang-kadang tak boleh lah nak jawab 24 jam. Tapi, kita dah bagi phone tu dekat uh, team member. Dia orang kata, ya yeah, boss, saya dah 
tengah reply laju ni laju ni tapi sebenarnya tak laju <laughs> sebenarnya dia orang slow kan uh, so apa jadi if we do that kita punya customer lari lah run to another person another uh, apa nama dia tu company kan they'll be angry they won't tell you they're angry tapi kat dalam panas je and then they complain to their friends they complain on, on social media tak payah pergi sini sebab slow padahal senang je nak handle slow tu final one is sebab kita kerja seorang alone uh, how many of you sekarang ni um, lone ranger one person now still growing but uh, you're working alone now kerja keras but this is a challenge sebab lama-lama you mesti stress mesti macam lah eh tak naik-naik lah sale stuck lah kat sini leads pun tak tak jalan kenapa stuck ni lah kenapa stuck ni lah lepas tu give up kan kalau ada macam tu memang sebab kita kerja alone right so what we want is kita nak solve it with instead of spamming kita nak buat natural instead of slow kita nak fast dan instead of kita kerja alone nak cari macam mana nak dapatkan nak dapatkan support okay so this is what we're going to cover today so i'm going to share with you the three step sales script how to be a master to motivate master motivation untuk yourself and your team And then uh, final one is to move the middle. Maksudnya apa? I show you, okay? So that kita ada this unfair advantage. Orang lain semua ingat dia orang tengah buat selling by chat, tapi dia orang buat spamming. So kita orang dah tak buat dah. Kita ada semua strategi dan taktik taktik advance so that you ada unfair advantage using sell by chat yang kita dah guna dekat sini dah jual juta juta dah, okay? Alright, so this is Ika. Cita Ika ni. Dia, when she came to me, same lah. Tapi dia ada team. Team dia dekat Filipina ada, dekat Indonesia ada, dekat um, Afrika ada. Dia jual, um, you know, the beauty products. Saya cantik semua kasih cun, pretty. Sebab dia, dia pun cantik kan. So when she came to me, dia kata Khalif, ramai sangat lah. Ada 30 sales, uh, apa? 30 sales leader. 30 sales leader. Dan satu sales leader ni kadang ada yang lima orang under dia. Kadang-kadang ada sepuluh orang under dia. So we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of sales team. Semua so, around the world, dia pening. So we came in, I tolong dia, kasih streamline. Dia double revenues dalam masa enam minggu. Right? Lepas tu dia menang award. So I want to show you how we did for her. So my goal untuk hari ni, my goal for this session is I want to help you gain an unfair advantage by utilizing sell by chat. Trying to sell by chat ni. Apa benda sell by chat ni? Right? So they can close more sales and get ahead of your competitors. Itu je my goal for today. How are we going to do it? Number satu, I'm going to share with you how to make your sales conversation more natural. Right? So that we don't do spamming. So your prospect trust you instantly. I bagi you script nanti. Ikut je script ni. Script ni dah memang dah jadi dah. Secret number two, how to follow up fast. You, I know you know how to follow up fast, tapi how to do it so that you boleh buat ramai-ramai orang so that they boleh consistent, okay? So they can do it without spending hours chatting on your own phone. Jadi kita as a business owner tak payahlah nak, nak um, you know, 24-7 kerja, right? And number three, how to get A-level team support without paying expensive salary. Macam mana? Uh, this is, I'm going to share you my secret how I do it in my company. So I have team members also everywhere and how I don't pay them so expensive, tapi they're still happy to work. Okay? So you do these three things and you will get this unfair advantage. You can scale from your 5,000 a month to 100,000 a month, insyaAllah. Okay. This is what we're going to cover. Nampak macam banyak, right? But actually sikit je. So, first we're going to cover how to be natural. These are the three things we're going to do. Second, fast, how to, you know, complete all actions, follow up, cadence, rule 24, and how to do everything, okay? And then, finally, I'm going to talk about how to get the support. So, how to move the middle, how to master motivation, how to measure 3x, right? And all this one, I'm going to show you how to do it. Finally, uh, just a quick 10 minutes, if you, any of you yang perlukan pertolongan, perlukan support, I will show you macam mana nak pergi uh, implement on your own, DIY, do it yourself. Kalau perlukan ada sesiapa nak hold your hand, we can do it together or you know maybe a, a service yang ada untuk we to do it for you. 
But then at the end, last last, kalau you perlukan pertolongan. All right. So if you're ready, please press one. Press one if you're ready. I am very excited to share. I dah uh, share benda ni dekat my client selalu dah. Tapi dekat orang KK tak pernah lagi. First time. Okay, first we're going to cover natural. Natural. Okay, let me see. I want to open lah my chat. Supaya nampak sikit my chat ni. Ah, nampak. Alright, cantik. Alright, good. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Aslin. Juliana. Nice, nice. Yes, the more you engage lagi bagus. Lagi nampak lagi semangat, kan? Okay. Let me do this. How do I close this? Ah, there it is. I sebenarnya nak nak buat my screen ni supaya cantik sikit. Hmm, yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hide that one. Okay, let's go. Secret number one, how to make your sales conversations natural. Natural so that your prospects trust you instantly. So you boleh ambil semua skrip ni, boleh bagi to your team member, so dia orang guna. Sebab I tahu, ramai yang masuk bila ada orang WhatsApp je, terus dia bagi, oh, hi Puan. Uh, this is our product, welcome, pop, this is uh, our menu, kalau you nak invest, kalau you nak beli, uh, this is the bank account, dah, 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 macam tu. Terus habis. Itu spamming lah tu, right? Kalau buat macam tu, dia macam, orang pergi gerai kat you, dia cakap hi, ya, you cakap hi. dia cakap hi kat you, you terus hi, cik, ah, buat, 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 you bagi dia the, ini ah terus. Uh, kalau nak beli, tolong scan, right? Tak tanya apa, tak ada uh, cakap hi, tak ada bagi salam, Uh, and that one people go like, eh, tak bestnya, right? Next, right? Okay. So, sebelum I go through the script, you need to know there's two types of strategy. Okay, there is a strategy for WhatsApp and there's a strategy for website. Why is this important? Because ramai antara you all are doing uh, both ataupun a hybrid, right? So if you know these two, then you know what is the outside strategy there. And then we're going to focus on the WhatsApp strategy. So the WhatsApp strategy. You boleh buat ad ke, you boleh buat social media ke, viral ke, all that will come in to selalunya to a website dulu lah. Right? So if you go to a website first, dia adalah reason dia. Reason is um, you want to remarket dan sebagainya. Right? So if you go to website dulu, that is a hybrid. That's a hybrid. That's fine. Okay? Ada juga straight into WhatsApp. Pun boleh juga. Right? So, so yang masuk web, WhatsApp tu, also ada dua type. Macam mana? Satu type is terus dia beli kat dalam tu. Satu lagi, dia buat appointment. So, what, apa beza dia? Beza dia kenapa appointment atau payment is depending on berapa is your price. So, kalau your price seribu ke atas, they most probably kena appointment lah. Right? Macam kita orang punya software. Macam kita orang punya service. Uh, macam insurance ke, Kowei ke, right? Kalau you nak jual package yang, even Kowei, kalau yang bulan-bulan bayar 100 pun, dia orang fikir, ini nak bayar 3 tahun, 5 tahun. So, ribu-ribu juga, right? So, it needs to be usually lah appointment. Right? Orang nak jumpa juga bersemuka. You want to trust, right? Sama juga uh, if you insurance. Tapi insurance saya bayar RM50 je sebulan. Still, for three, for 10 years, 10 tahun, dia orang fikir, ui, mahal tu. So, nak jumpa juga kan? Sama lah, you guys. Kalau you nak commit tu, then the strategy is dalam WhatsApp, pergi appointment dulu. Kalau yang below 1000 tu, then maybe you can do, terus pergi payment, right? Bagi payment link, bank, bank account, terus boleh beli. So, with strategy WhatsApp ni, you boleh jual apa-apa. Apa-apa yang nak jual pun boleh. Sebab, they feel a trust. Okay, I'm going to show you how to build that trust. Tapi, some are doing it, mungkin tak efficient lah. Tak setera lah. Okay? That's, that's WhatsApp. Second strategy is strategy website. So, website strategy ni, daripada social media dan sebagainya, all the list, dia masuk website. Dalam website tu, dia terus klik, 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 klik. Dan klik, klik, klik tu, Terus dia pergi payment. So this one is 100% auto. Best, 100% auto. Tapi kalau tak pandai buat, memang tak ada orang beli. 
right and usually yang ni pun dia kena less than 1000 ringgit orang still want to do face to face right kalau is more than 1000 okay so kalau your product tu depending on how much uh, you're selling you want to see which one is best right boleh tak kalau nak buat strategi website ni nak jual uh, mahal-mahal boleh tapi dia punya teknik tu complicated sikitlah right so best is what whatsapp that's why a lot of people are doing whatsapp sekarang ni sebab tu kita nak tolong orang buat sale kat whatsapp okay so for the whatsapp strategy there's two types right one is so 15% manual closing this is hybrid and you can sell anything so more business is why kalau strategi website ni dia ada syarat So not all businesses why harga kena bawah 1000 margin untung kena above 50 ringgit. Ya. Yeah. So menarik juga. What if you want to sell dekat website keropok leko? Boleh jual keropok leko yang margin 10 ringgit. Tapi you kena buat bundle strategy, right? Or package strategy. Beli 10 um you know 10 package terus right beli 10 um, family pack terus then make sure the margin why sebab you need to have the margin untuk cover your ads okay okay and then you kena simple and kena self service so your your text tu kena cantik pack package bakul biskut ramadan kasih yeah correct kena buat package kalau you nak buat online dekat website mesti margin tu nak cover your ads kalau tidak bagus buat dengan whatsapp whatsapp dia yes margin you boleh jual apa-apa okay now let's get into the chatting okay sebelum we go into script I nak cerita pasal those people who are doing your sale on whatsapp blue tick versus rejection nah ini I dulu selalu buat sale unit trust. I used to run a unit trust agency. In the unit trust agency, um, let me share you a little bit background. Eh? Background I dulu. Dulu-dulu, I jual unit trust. I, you, you nampak tak my screen ni? Oh, tak nampak eh? Ya. Eh? Ah. Dulu-dulu, I jual unit trust. That's Nini, right? Nampak tak? Not yet, Khalif. Nampak eh? Let me share, let me share. Share screen. Okay, cantik. Okay. Nampak dah kan? So, this me. Nini, dulu I jual unit trust. So, while we were selling unit trust, menang awards right that time muda lagi 20, 26 uh, 27 tahun team besar kita you know um, beli kereta besar uh, duit banyak and sebelum I buat sale tu belajar buat buat sale I kerja dengan orang kerja dengan orang ni tak ada background business tak ada background nak buat marketing tak ada background sale jadi bila first first start buat sale ni takut sangat rejection. Siapa yang takut rejection? <laughs> kita orang buat sale face to face dulu. Kena pergi kat orang orang tak nak. Taklah Khalif. Macam tu. Ada oh man sakitnya. Aduh, right? <laughs> Kena pergi dekat KLCC tu, bang nak tukar kad bang boleh? Ha, dia orang tengah duduk tu, Datuk tukar kad Datuk. Siapa eh hey, apa ni kacau pergi? Ha, ada macam tu. Ah uh, takutlah nak dapat rejection. Nowadays, kita orang boleh close sale dekat WhatsApp. Close sale dekat WhatsApp, maksudnya kita tak payah nak berdepan dengan orang. Tapi masih lagi ada sakit tu bila orang reject. right? Rejection, orang ingat, Alamak, Khalif, dia orang tak jawab lah. Dia orang tak jawab, tak semestinya dia orang reject. Maksudnya, apa? Kalau dia orang, what do you guys think? Kalau dia orang, Mm-hmm. Apa dia? Apa maksud dia bila 
blue tick tu maksudnya dia orang tengah fikir atau dia orang lupa so dia either mungkin dia tengah bawa kereta dia nampak dia promo tu I nak jawab I nak ni alah terlupa I pun selalu macam tu right so we need to tune our brain sikit macam lah eh no lah kalau dia orang blue tick tak jawab tu tak semestinya dia orang tak nak dia orang nak lagi dia orang nak selagi dia orang tak cakap dia orang tak nak dia orang nak ok siapa yang letak kat dalam kepala kita ni cakap dia orang tak nak kita juga yang letak jadi macam mana nak buat sale So kita kena buat sale. Kita kena fikir yang dia orang nak. Right? So kalau dia orang nak, kita kena follow up lah. Right? So kalau dia orang tak nak tu, dia orang cakap, dia orang cakap clearly, uh, terima kasih bang, saya dah tak berminat atau terima kasih, saya dah beli dah kat sana atau no thank you mungkin uh, saya jumpa, uh, saya saya, uh, saya contact balik lah nak, nanti. Uh, bila dah cakap macam tu, barulah you stop follow up. Tapi even that, dia ada cara dia. Right, so you want to say something nice, end it, habiskan the connection tu dengan feeling yang sedap, best. Nah, say bestnya you all tentu, okay? Jumpa lagi, nanti bagi promo eh, ah ha, tentu, okay? Tapi kalau dia orang tak blue, kalau dia orang tak ada cakap macam tu, we have to assume yang dia orang nak, okay? So kita teruskan follow up, and I'll show you how to follow up. Dia punya jadual so that dia orang tak rasa rimas. So bila dia tengah panas lagi, bila dia nak lagi, I'll show you how to do it. Okay? Okay. So apa maksud rejection point ni? Rejection point ni dia objection lah, objection. Bila I dulu belajar buat sale dulu dengan unit trust, dengan sales punya trainer yang kita orang kita orang um, apa bayar punyalah banyak-banyak berpuluh-puluh ribu dia orang kata kali the biggest thing yang you the most important thing you kena buat ialah you kena tulis semua objection yang you selalu dapat tulis jawapannya okey contoh ni ah kalau cakap alah mahal lah right so apa jawapannya dia cakap, tak apa kak kami set trial yang lagi yang you know lagi jimat so you dapat ini 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 tapi you jimat sangat yang ni you guna tu cuba dulu And, ah, itu kalau cakap mahal kalau dia kata oh, terima kasih lah tapi saya nak tanya suami dululah so you kena ada lah the text tu you kena cakap oh, contohnya boleh uh, boleh lah akak tanya suami dulu malam ni uh, saya contact akak balik ya eh? um, please reply whatsapp saya nanti ok uh, lepas tu bagilah deadline uh, pukul apa you nak jawab so dia, dia boleh expect lah cakap baik-baik right So kalau um, you know orang yang saja-saja nak tanya kata um, akan nak tanya je ha. so boleh no problem tak ada masalah at least you know dah tahu harga dan package right saya doakan akak sihat mana tahu nanti tiba-tiba akak berminat boleh uh, you know contact uh, kali balik ya lepas tu bagi dia terima kasih sangat lah lepas tu bagilah dia info bagi testimonial cakap lah oh kita dah ada uh, you know sijil uh, KKM ini 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 kita dah menang award ini ini so kalau nak uh, contact uh, kali balik kita ada promo-promo ini 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 ok terima kasih bye bye ha, macam tu right so you want nak tulis penting ni you see later kenapa penting nak tulis ni selalunya kita orang sendiri-sendiri selalu tak payah lah buat lah kan lepas copy and paste copy and paste lah daripada nak cari tak tahu kat mana lah So semua you nak tuliskan and then akan nak buatlah satu spreadsheet. Spreadsheet Google Sheets ke mana-mana ke, right? Nota simpan. Ada guna dia nota ni nanti. Okay. Useful tak benda ni? Bagus tak? Right? So this is the first thing yang kena buat. Okay. Now, I want to share with you yang not closing tau. So dah, dah ada, uh, you dah tahu dah orang masuk tu jangan spam. So you dah tak spam, you dah ready dah semua objection. So how do you want to chat dengan orang tu? What is the three step closing script untuk those yang are yang uh, pricing dia less than seribu ringgit? Tiga step je. Step one, you want to intro and then ask a personalized question. Ah, uh, this is basic WhatsApp. Eh, basic WhatsApp lah. Basic sales. Tapi you boleh buat kat WhatsApp. So contohnya, ah. Uh, 
Salam, hi, ini Khalif ni daripada Yes Hello HQ, uh, Sam. Boleh saya tanya kak, uh, akak uh, uh, tim berapa orang, Sam? So, dia, dia jawab, tunggulah uh, soal, uh, apa jawapan tu. So, dia jawab, oh kita ada tim sale tiga orang. Oh tiga orang, uh, bagus tu baru nak nak grow eh. Okay, boleh saya tanya juga, boom, dia tanya soalan yang kedua. So, you might want to have satu, dua atau tiga soalan untuk faham apa keperluan customer. Right? So, kalau you buat spa. Oh, hi. You nak buat spa untuk you ke? You nak beli untuk uh, orang lain? Oh, yeah. For yourself. Okay. Sekarang ni ada um, you nak uh, kat akak rasa sakit lengan ke? Sakit belakang ke? Pernah ke selalu datang buat spa? Oh selalu spa, selalu sakit uh, you know pergi kat sini sini sebab sakit belakang, sakit belakang. Oh, kalau sakit belakang, saya recommend akak uh, test yang ni dulu. Yang kita punya package yang ini, dia memang untuk orang yang sakit belakang dan yang untuk umur kakak ni. Right? Ah uh, dah dah bagilah semua. Lepas tu kita ada promo sekarang ni, akak boleh jimat. Dah 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 dah. Da. Nak try tak? Right? So you can see that step 2 is you customize the solution. Lepas tu, you bagi proof terus. Dah ready dah. So, another thing you nak ready is untuk package sakit belakang, adalah proof dia. Bagilah satu. Satu testimonial, satu gambar ke, something. Lepas tu, you give a suggestion. Kenapa bagus untuk orang tu package ni? Step tu. Senang je. Right? So, untuk my company, oh, saya tak, oh uh, abang ada team 10 orang eh. Oh, faham-faham. So, semua guna phone sendiri. Oh, ya ke? Okay. Okay, okay. Saya, saya suggest macam ni. Sebab uh, diorang semua guna phone sendiri, saya recommend guna package starter kita orang. Murah je, RM79. And then, kita orang dah test dah dengan uh, T-Live. Kita dah test dengan Volvo. Diorang combine semua. Dia team member itu satu nombor. Right? Kita tengok diorang double sale. Cepat je. So, kalau abang nak try, dah, 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 right? kita boleh buat free trial. Macam itulah. Tak cakap price lagi. Right? Ah, ha, Ideally, jangan cakap price lagi lah. Right? And then step three, you bagi normal package plus action plus fast action bonus. Okay? So, you cakap selalunya, kalau orang yang nak try kita orang punya produk ni, dia RM30. Tapi, kalau akak nak try hari ni, kita bagi RM27 je. Kalau uh, kalau akak uh, order dengan saya, saya bagi RM3 discount um, untuk hari ni je. Right? So, they know they get an, a fast action bonus. Wujudkan that best offer and urgency. Simple. Cuma, this takes a lot of time. Right? Tapi it works. Apa yang doesn't work is kalau you letak so bom 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 bom. Okay? Bagus atau bagus? Good not? Is it helpful? Okay. Now, next. Apa kita nak buat kalau kita nak close dengan um, customer yang dia orang punya dia orang punya tu seribu ringgit dan you know and above. What if dia nak beli kereta ke? Dia orang nak bila orang nak beli uh, wedding punya package ke? Dia orang nak beli travel agency package ke? Right? It's almost similar. The difference is, beza dia ialah, you nak instead of bagi dia a promo today, you want to request for appointment. So, you nak jual appointment atau jual call. Bukan jual package. There's a difference. Sebab diorang nak jumpa. And ideally, yelah, kalau customer kata diorang nak beli juga sekarang, sebenarnya, percentage diorang akan beli kalau your thing is above RM1,000. Memang very low. One out of a thousand lah akan beli. Jadi, janganlah buat. Right? Waste time. So, jual the appointment. Baik kita jumpa. Right? Oh, so same thing. First one, oh, nak beli uh, kereta apa? Oh, ada dah terfikir uh, abang nak model kereta Estima yang mana satu? Oh, saya dulu ada nampak yang 2022 punya cantik. Oh, 2022 punya best. 
Yes, yes, yes. Yang rupa dia cantik tu. Okay, okay. Sini saya punya uh, cadangan. Kita orang ada yang baru masuk ni 2022 punya. Dan mungkin kalau abang nak, kita ada yang 2021 yang dia punya itu dan ini tapi memanglah jimat sangat. I know it's not what you want tapi mungkin you suka. Mungkin you can come uh, datang tempat kita uh, saya boleh tunjuk semua-semua benda, benda-benda ni. Nak tak bang? Bila abang boleh datang? Right? So that's how you want to sell an appointment. So, bagi cadangan, solution, and then you bagilah gambar ni, gambar ni, gambar tu. Minat tak bang? Minat tak? Ha. Dulu kita ramai orang, kita dah beli. Tengok happy je muka-muka dia orang. Right? Step 3, bagi juga normal package, action dan fast action bonus. Apa bonus yang you boleh bagi untuk orang datang? Bolehlah cakap, oh sekarang ni kita ada promo yang untuk minggu ni saja, Ataupun, uh, Abang, kalau abang beli daripada saya, saya boleh add extra. Ada screen protector lah, ada seat cover lah, whatever. Right? Cari apa dia the bonus. So, untuk your product, you nak fikir, what is the step one? Jadi dalam step one tu, mungkin dia akan ada tiga benda yang dia orang selalu cakap. Ya, untuk orang yang um, pergi spa tu, mungkin sakit kepala, sakit badan, sakit kaki contohnya. Eh? So you know, akan ada tiga benda yang saya tanya. Untuk tiga ni, you nak dah ready dah, customize solution dia. Oh, untuk yang ini, saya suggest ini, dan bagi uh, ready the proof, and then ready the, uh, yang step three ni. Package, and then what action to take, and then apa bonus dia. Untuk tiga. So script-script ni, you akan guna again and again. Right? And the more you guna, the more you will see yang mana satu works well. And which one doesn't work? Jangan tukar-tukar. And then, once every two weeks ke, once every month ke, you dah nampak dah kan? Or once every week, you duduk dengan your team, kata, ah, I dah offer yang ni 10 kali. Ini dia punya uh, conversion rate. Kita boleh tweak ini dan itu. Okay? Bagus atau boleh guna? Boleh? Bagus. Okay. Good. So, that's a simple three scripts, a three step script. Tak payah panjang-panjang berjela. Tak payah nak sampai uh, um, spamming-spamming semua. Right? This is the one that kita punya customer guna. Some of our customers, like I said, is T-Life, uh, uh, Volvo Bukit Bintang, Jaguar Land Rover. Uh, inilah script yang mereka guna. Right? So summary, how to make your sales conversation more natural. Dan bila dia jawab tu, like I said, say, janganlah terus dia jawab satu, lepas tu jawab balik, right? Uh, jawab dengan uh, apa? the the con- content terus. Mestilah ada lubrication. Oh, iya ke macam tu bestnya? Uh, baru hantar something else, right? So blue tick versus rejection. That's what we learn. Three step closing script untuk less than 1K. Dan three step closing script that's more than 1,000. Alright. That's the closing. Second part. How to reply fast. So I'm going to show you. Very fast one. How to complete all your action items. Yang follow up kan. How to follow up tu lah. I can ajar macam ni. How to follow up. Apa dia punya scheduling. Dengan rule 24. And I can ajar macam mana nak buat. So we're going to do a fast one. This one. Secret number two. How to follow up fast. Without spending hours chatting on your phone. Yes. Ya, kalau kita sendiri buat chatting on the phone, susah lah. So, there are few things. This is email and also WhatsApp. So, I took this from um, a course yang I went through. This is about email. And they have good information. So, I'm going to share with you. So, part of what I do is I go to banyak-banyak course and apa yang belajar, I share dengan you all. Okay. So, usually orang sale ni, ada benda, enam benda yang selalu dia orang jawab. Selalu dia yang kena hantar, right? Dia respond to prospect punya message. Dia orang akan uh, a, a nudge nak follow up. Untuk yang tak ada respond tu, dia orang akan um, follow up lepas dah berjumpa. Dia orang ada uh, nak nak uh, message orang-orang yang baru. Kita nak confirm nak berjumpa atau appointment. Atau, you know, we, we're coming back to nak start dah. Alright. So with all those things that sales people selalu buat, ada tiga benda yang biggest mistake. Right? Mistake number one 
ini biasa <coughs> is kita terlupa langsung nak hantar benda yang kita janji tu forgot to send what we promise obviously kalau kita forgot habislah right how are they supposed to respect us so that's the first one so how do we solve that okay so it says here completing all action items throughout a deal increases your likelihood to win so action items macam mana hantar proposal ditanya oh boleh hantar um, price yang promo yang terbaru ha ini satu tak gambar testimonial dos benda-benda yang sepatutnya you hantar tapi lupa hantar as simple as that this is why am i sharing this sebab ramai antara yang orang yang i duduk depan dia orang coaching tanya semua benda yang advance advance kali I nak advance way of doing this and that. Nak close sale. Kau tak tanya dia orang. Yang benda basic ni, dia dah buat ke? Kalau benda basic dia tak buat, tak guna nak buat benda yang advance. Betul. Trust me. So it says here, just doing the basic things. Just completing the task. Action items yang you sepatutnya buat. By completing it, deals with 100% completion 44% win rate this is act from berpuluh-puluhribu orang sales people dia orang ambil semua purata you see there's a 20% increase in sales conversion and all they needed to do is just follow through saja right kalau you tak complete benda-benda yang sepatut buat tu terlupa pam terus dah jatuh dah Right, from 44% jadi 24% je. Daripada almost half, 50, almost 50% closing rate to a quarter percent closing rate. Sebab you terlupa benda tu. So you need to remember how to, you need to have a way untuk remind yourself macam mana nak apa, hantar all those things. Okay? So, how do we do internally? Macam mana kita orang buat? So that's why kita orang ada uh, uh, one way of doing it is a platform atau tools, right? So I want to share with you a tool. You can use any other tool. Boleh buat ada nota ke apa ke. Tapi kalau the tools yang you guna tu dah support you supaya you tak lupa, kan lagi bagus, right? So yes, hello ni dia ada gamified terus. Kita dah ada game, right? So inside there we can set. Apa yang kita perlu buat lepas tu And then kalau dah siap barulah close Kalau kita tak close Maksudnya dia masih lagi dalam inbox kita So dia tak akan habis Platform tu cakap satu orang lagi ni tak habis lagi Right? Sebab masih ada lagi dalam inbox Kalau you still messaging kat dalam WhatsApp you Semua sama je How you supposed to know what is what? Right? Tak tahu This way So we've already created Supaya you akan nampak terang-terang Berapa orang yang You tak habis lagi follow up. You tak habis lagi buat benda-benda tu. Uh, you boleh snooze so that you can remind yourself. Kalau you tak boleh nak buat, you boleh delegate. Uh, you have terus delegate. Untuk stage ni, semua hantar kat billing. So, billing lah hantar invoice. So, kita lepas tangan. Right? So, what I'm saying is you need to have a tool untuk buat kerja you lagi senang. Right? So this is our gamified workflow. So you can also use same system tapi guna your note, buku nota ke something. You need to have something to remind yourself untuk buat. Yang basic. That's the first one. Second, biggest mistake untuk orang buat sale ni dengan WhatsApp is you did not proactively engage your prospect. This is the follow up. I'm going to share with you a follow up calendar or cadence okay so dia cakap kat sini eh seller proactivity has the largest impact on win rate maksudnya lebih kita proaktif untuk follow up lebih, itulah satu-satunya benda yang akan increase your closing rate right so nampak ni kalau 18% just by following up nudging prospect Enaj, hai, apa khabar? Kak, hari tu uh, akak berminat. 
kau minat lagi sebab dia blue tick tak semestinya dia cakap tak nak right so confirm a meeting supaya dia datang so this back to office uh, lepas you dah call meeting tu untuk follow up uh, ini untuk respond messages ataupun connect to new people right so this is the largest thing untuk follow up so I'm going to teach you so we know how follow up is very important I'm going to teach you how to follow up on WhatsApp supaya dia tak rasa rimas right okay 70% close comes from follow up. How many percent? 70%. Tulis situ 70%. Supaya orang yang baru-baru masuk tu dia yang tahulah berapa persen. Right? Letak situ. 70% please. Tak. Yes, yes. 70%. Letak situ 70%. Siapa-siapa kat situ, letak je 70%. Supaya orang nanti yang lain-lain nampak. Okay? Thank you so much. So 70%. Kalau you tak follow up, maksudnya tak adalah dia orang nak nak beli. Okay? So, 30% masuk WhatsApp terus beli on the spot. What about the other 70%? Masuk WhatsApp, kena follow up 2-3 kali baru beli. Okay? So, yang malas follow up, sales, okay lah, less than RM10,000 lah sebulan. Kan? Sampai yang rajin follow up tu, banyak lah. RM30,000, RM100,000. So, this is how to follow up. Okay? So, jadual ni, kalau nak ambil screenshot boleh. Okay? This is the follow up cadence. Jadi macam mana? Kalau dia berchatting dengan you pagi, hari pertama tu, customer dah start WhatsApp, you nak follow up hari pertama malam. Right? And then, tidur. And then, hari kedua pagi tu follow up lagi. And then, Rest kejap. Malam hari kedua tu, follow up lagi. Tiga kali. Right? That's how you do it. So, this way, cara ni, dia tak rasa rimas. And it works very, very effectively. Okay? Alright. Tu tanya Khalif. Kalau dia orang, per, kalau dia orang uh, follow up, apa, dia orang chatting petang. Macam mana? Kalau dia orang, you know, first customer WhatsApp tu petang, yes, malam tu terus boleh follow up. So, terus, hi. Uh, akak berminat lagi ke? Selagi dia orang tak cakap dia orang tak berminat, maksudnya dia orang masih berminat. It's just kadang-kadang dia orang busy. Right? So, ditunggu sampai pagi tu, follow up kedua, dan malam hari kedua follow up yang ketiga what if dia orang whatsapp you malam kalau dia whatsapp malam then tiba-tiba dia orang tak cakap dia senyap je then follow up pagi lepas tu follow up malam and then pagi balik tiga kali tiga kali cukup right kalau you rasa relationship kuat boleh lah nak follow up kali keempat tapi this is good enough. Let's take a screenshot yang ini. Why? Kenapa I bagi you ni? Sebab lepas ni you can realize sale dah masuk. You want to have your team yang follow up. Jadi orang akan ikut a system. Right? Ha. And mistake yang ketiga. You waited 24 hours lebih daripada 24 jam untuk hantar apa yang you kata you nak hantar. Silap. Okay, mistake because one of the biggest things, if you want to increase your win rate, see, responding to buyers within 24 hours increases win rate and reduces deal duration. So, win rate akan naik by 14% kalau you reply less than 24 hours. And, berapa lama untuk dia nak close tu akan kurang sikit, lagi cepat dia orang beli. So, 24 hours is the rule. Jangan lebih 24 hours kalau nak follow up. Orang akan habis dia kepanasan untuk nak beli tu. Right? Win rates correlate with sales rep response time. Yes, dia tunjuk lah. Kalau orang yang reply dalam 2 jam, 5 jam, kurang daripada 10 jam is the paling bagus. 50% average win rate. Ha, ini tips dia. Ini daripada data-data berpuluh-puluh ribu orang buat sale. 
kalau you suruh your team follow up less than 10 hours, 50% win rate. Tunggu je lepas over 24 hours, habis terus je menjunam. Right? Down to 15% kalau you tunggu 3-4 hari. Simple as that. Okay? So, inilah kalau you perlukan tools, right? Bila kita kerja seorang-seorang, kadang-kadang kita busy. I faham. I sendiri busy. Jadi, kita kena ada tech team. You kena ada a way untuk, tadi macam cakap lah, you kena as, boleh assign, reassign. Imagine kalau ada software tu yang you boleh satu buat reminder. Lepas tu kalau sibuk boleh suruh orang lain buat. Kalau dia orang pun sibuk, kita boleh buat otomasikan. Banyak yang kita boleh buat. And then kat sini you boleh have a group chat dekat dalam tu lagi. So your your apa uh, your phone tu tak meletup dengan group chat. So this is where software is very very important supaya you will remind yourself untuk follow up less than 24 hours and to increase your win rate. Okay? Alright. So that's the second part. Second part is summary how to follow up fast. Make sure you complete all action items. Ikut follow up cadence. Yang saya bagi tu, tiga follow up tu bila dia punya time. And then rule 24 is bila kita uh, nak follow up tu, make sure kita follow up less than 24 hours. Right? And that's where team collaboration and whisper support ni where you can chat with each other ni very penting. Okay? Alright. Final one I want to share with you. Ha, ini is bila you dah reply fast and it feels natural, orang akan suka now how to boomkan your sales. Okay, so this last one, support. Macam mana nak cari support supaya orang tolong you buat sale dengan murah, right? So, I'm going to talk to you how to move the middle, master motivation and measure, 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 okay? Secret number three, how to get A-level support without paying expensive salary. How do we do this? So I do this in my team also, okay? How to do it is, you need to make things simple. Why is this? Okay, kalau kita orang duduk kerja, and then hari-hari nak masuk kerja tu, kerja tu susah, orang yang nak kerja tu, mestilah dia orang punya demanding tu tinggi sikit. Right? And then, bila dia orang masuk tu, dia orang tak tahu nak buat apa, dia orang tengok semua messy, dia orang tengok alamak, um, uh, apa, the, the, the team pun, macam orang lain pun tak, tak, tak motivated. Jadi, orang yang nak join ni pun, semua yang tak, tak quality lah. Right? As opposed to, kalau you masuk tiba-tiba, you tengok, uh, you know, this company ni, wow, Tools dia yang paling advance. Lepas tu hari-hari nampak macam orang lain semua uh, motivated. Kerja pun smooth. I nak dapat information pun semua dah ada. And then semua proses-proses tu dah di, dah test dah. I masuk, I tak payah nak fikir, I ikut je. Right? That's important. So you want to keep it simple. So the process of how we want to do it is first is kita nak buat script. Okay, ni kita as a founder. Bila skrip dah cantik, kita dah pandai dah follow up, kita dah buat sale dah, that's on WhatsApp, kita tahu kita boleh now guna skrip tu buat messenger, boleh buat Instagram, lepas tu fikir, alamak, banyak sangat uh, channel. So step 3 is kita nak unify semua-semua tu supaya senang kerja. Okay? Bila dah unify semua benda channel-channel ni dekat satu tempat into one tool now you as a founder akan ada total visibility of your whole company semua communication dengan customer semua satu tempat now senang sikit nak cari team support sebab the team akan tahu oh kalau I join maksudnya you nampak I, I kerja I buat apa you, you nampak I bila I message ni Uh, I cepat ke lambat jadi kalau I tak tahu macam mana nak message ni you boleh tolong eh right jadi orang team member pun kata oh 
I bukan pegang satu phone lepas tu I seorang-seorang kerja, bukan macam tu. Wah, bestnya, right? Sebab now kalau you nak have a team, you bagi dia orang phone uh, you handle sendiri, susah, dia tak suka macam tu. They want to work as a team. So it's hard for you to get team support. Jadi forever you akan menjawab that phone. Right? So the goal is with WhatsApp sale you want to have a team that can close 33% of whatever um inquiries yang ada. So kalau 100 WhatsApp orang tanya kita nak close 33 sale. So that's an average, right? Jadi kalau your package price tu lagi tinggi, lower lah the closing rate. Tapi this is a good benchmark. Good benchmark. Uh, kalau um, you hire, you know, kalau jual kereta tu mungkin saya, mungkin mahal sangat, mungkin dalam 2-3%, right? Tapi if your package is less than RM500, 33% is good. Dan satu hari, satu team member boleh kalau you train dia train dia properly lah can handle 50 whatsapp messages so let's do some calculation eh how do we optimize cost per purchase okay kalau kita satu hari kita boleh buat iklan RM20 satu cost untuk klik tu RM2 dapat 10 orang and then bounce rate Setengah tu tak cakap, dan lima orang WhatsApp kita. Closing rate WhatsApp, 40%. Jadi, 40% daripada lima orang adalah lima customer jadi beli. Eh, dua customer jadi beli. Okay. Modal RM20, dapat sepuluh orang, cakap dengan lima orang, close dua orang. Okay, bagus tu. That's a good closing rate. So, cost untuk purchase, RM10 untuk satu customer. That's good. Jadi kalau produk RM100, modal iklan RM10, sales RM100 satu customer beli. So, I tahu banyak nombor ni but we need to understand this nombor. Okay? So, once we get this number, kita tahu berapa cost untuk satu orang beli, apa kita boleh buat? Kita boleh boomkan sale kita orang. Sekejap je kalau kita nak buat calculation ni. So Noda cakap TAR, UMT, education. Ya. Yeah. I think if you want to sell education packages pun boleh. So you want to know berapa uh, when you buat ad, berapa orang you boleh buat conversation dengan dia orang, berapa appointment you akan dapat and from berapa appointment you akan dapat berapa sale. Jadi untuk satu sale tu, berapa ringgit modal iklan? Okay. Now, macam mana kita nak reach sales target? Okay. Kalau satu orang boleh close WhatsApp full time, boleh handle 30 to 50 WhatsApp sehari. If satu hari dapat 40 WhatsApp, kita kali 40% closing rate, 16 customer boleh beli. Sales sehari 16 kali RM100 harga produk is RM1,600. Okay. So kalau kita konsistenkan 30 hari dengan one person je closing full time. Sebulan ialah 1600 kali 30 48000 ringgit sebulan. So this is why we, why we want to calculate how much sales we can get per person per day. Dia mula dengan kita dulu. Kita buat script dulu. Lepas tu, kita test dulu follow up. Kita dah test follow up, test script, kita dah test dulu semua objection. Lepas tu, kita letak ads. Bila kita letak ads, kita tahu berapa ringgit untuk dapatkan satu customer untuk ads. Kita kalikan, kita buat calculation, now we can know berapa sale kita boleh buat dengan satu orang yang buat closing full time. And sebab kita guna tools, orang yang closing ni boleh dari mana-mana dalam dunia ni. Sebab tu, kalau you ada this information, now you boleh cari orang yang buat closing for you murah sangat. Murah sangat. Okay? I'll show you this one, another one. Eh? 
So kalau you buat seorang-seorang closing individual sales team tak ada shift. Okay. Satu orang jaga satu nombor you pegang WhatsApp sendiri. Ni biasa lah korang buat kan? I'm sure. This is what I want to get to. I want to show you this. You akan kerja non-stop Isnin sampai Ahad pagi sampai malam and then that person atau you sendiri memang burn out performance pun tak menentu sebab dia dah pening, penat 24-7 dengan phone sendiri tak habis-habis berdering, berdering, berdering kan? so and then kalau you nak ada tiga team member banyak pula nombor telefon lepas tu leads pula berterabur dengan dia orang dengan sini you nak you nak connect semua tak boleh connect right potensi sales 100,000 yes tapi tiga orang ni 4,500 sebulan ok kalau you guna centralized team sales you can now have ada shift sebab you dah tak payah nak pass phone dah kepada dia orang ke sini ke sana semua orang login melalui the cloud kan dengan menggunakan tools yang betul dah tak ada pegang phone dah dia orang boleh login daripada mana-mana dekat dalam dunia ni so you boleh tak shift 1 8 am to 4 pm isnin kamis shift 2 4 pm to 11 pm kalau you nak buat 24 7 pun boleh sebab carilah orang yang kerja tengah-tengah malam another shift right and everybody akan tahu dia orang semua akan tahu yang eh i kena kerja I kena masuk at time betul-betul, login sebab login semua akan nampak sebab I tahu my boss, dia bangun besok, dia login, dia akan tengok so bila you tidur pun, your team boleh buat sale right, so banyak shift so you guna satu nombor whatsapp je the potential of sales boleh ber- unlimited sebesar mana yang you nak and then you can pay 1,500 4 orang 6,000 sebulan kalau you nak 40 orang pun boleh so kenapa kita boleh sampai murah ni well 1,500 is minimum lah kan but you sekarang you can even get cheaper sebab orang yang kerja ni tak semestinya full time kalau you nak cari part time pun boleh tapi lagi bagus full time lah right you boleh cari juga orang full time daripada negara lain sebab login semua daripada internet centralized team sales macam itulah how we get lower uh, apa um, team yang power tapi dia orang murah okay so let me do a closing that's it for today i nak buat closing dah banyak i share i tahu you all tengah buat itu dan ini hari puasa ni i thank you so much for you guys being here right so i nak buat recap So my goal for this session is I want to help you gain an unfair advantage by utilizing sell by chat to close sales so you can get ahead of your competitors. So I know this is an unfair advantage. I know for sure. Sebab banyak dah kita punya customer buat berpuluh ribu, beratus ribu, berjuta using this process. Right? Tapi first step ialah you kena test your own, ada script, ada follow up. Make sure semua benda yang you buat tu, you buat before, you know, in 24 hours dan jangan lupa. So, kena ada tools yang akan tolong, right? So, kita share tadi, secret nombor satu, how to make your sales conversations natural kat WhatsApp. So, your prospects trust you instantly, sudah. Secret two, how to follow up fast without spending hours chatting on your phone. Yes, you don't have to now chat on your phone because your team is chatting for you. Secret three, how to get A-level team support when the team knows dia orang tahu dan you dah ada sistem script dah ready software dah ready dia orang boleh kerja from home they will say 1005 sampai commission okey boleh i buat so you don't have to pay expensive salary okay so for those yang kata kalif yes you nak start i will say go ahead and start ambil script script tu you boleh buat diy do it yourself test semua i'm i'm sure if you implement You better implement and it will give you sales. I promise you. Okay. And for those yang perlukan support, if you want to do it together, I ada, uh, you can contact me. I'll give you my phone number lepas ni. Kita boleh buat coaching. I can go through your company, tengok your script and then kita boleh kasi cantik. 
ataupun for those yang kata Khalif, I tak ada masa lah nak buat semua ni, I nak tolong you buatkan. Boleh. You can have a session with me, kita duduk, tengok what's your budget. I will create the script. I will look at your company. We will go through uh, how to test everything. We will test it. We will create the objection scripts. We will go through the ads and then we will start scaling and then you can start hiring new team members to follow that script. Right? It takes a lot of time, but if you want that also, we can do that, uh, have, a, uh, have a session. Um, we'll talk about that. Khalif. But at the end, we want to take action. Yes, Ini? Khalif, um, uh, I also will be posting the link for free Yes Hello subscription, as we promised, as a token of appreciation to Scenic uh, Entrepreneur Ecosystem. In the chat, uh, they are able to um, register for the free subscription through a Google form and someone from Yes Hello team will be contacting them for onboarding. Yes, so you get, guys can already start to scale your sales. Go ahead and use the platform, right? I know you would love it. Very, very uh, useful. So these are all the companies yang sekarang ni dah memang guna our platform. T-Life, B-Mobility, Asia E-University, Majlis Perbandaran Seberan Pry, right? Volvo Malaysia, Jaguar Land Rover, BYD, Sirim Malaysia, Sustainable Energy Development Authority Malaysia, Carnival Internet ni is an internet company dekat Bangladesh. So we are in nine countries, 65 companies dah dah guna kita punya platform. So, Shah, that's it for today. I'm going to open maybe like a, for a few minutes kalau siapa-siapa nak tanya soalan. Apa-apa soalan, boleh tanya sekarang. Kalau tak ada soalan, we can do a closing. Hmm. Yes, kita punya Google Form boleh fill up kat situ. And uh, I rasa Syah pun boleh follow up dan hantar semua forms tu supaya kalau dia orang nak register. So untuk close, my name is Khalif. Uh, kalau tak ada soalan, I pass it over to Nini and Syah and then we can uh, close the day. Alright, thank you so much Khalif. Um, so untuk semua yang um, kamu, ka, sebab kami janji kan, memang kami janji untuk kasih uh, free Yes Hello subscription jadi link um, ada di dalam chat sekarang saya juga akan hantar uh, melalui email kepada anda tapi saya rasa kalau kamu klik sekarang kamu akan dapat register terus um, through the Google form jadi um, nanti akan ada team member Yes Hello untuk contact minggu depan untuk buat onboarding sebab untuk kamu uh, masukkan bisnes kamu kan di dalam Yes Hello platform tu dia ada onboarding proses. Jadi uh, itu sama ada uh, Silma dia dah dari Sabah juga, right? Uh, ataupun Alta yang will be uh, contacting you lah untuk buat onboarding proses tu, okay? Uh, Sekarang daripada itu saya mau tanya Syah, Syah ada apa-apa lagi you mau tambah sebelum kita wrap up hari ini? Syah. Syah dari sini, sebab kami ni bukan tuan rumah kan. Kalau if you want to stop your uh, screen sharing. Syah, adakah anda berada di sana? Sekejap ya, kita tunggu Syah dulu. Yeah, hello everyone. Okay, ada, ada Yuliati. Syah is not responding. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you everyone for coming to the session. I hope um, memang everyone everyone gain uh, fruitful knowledge today uh, and uh, have a good day. All right, thank you everyone for being thank here. You. Have a good day everyone. Have a good Saturday. Saya, saya mau uh, cakap terima kasih uh, kepada sini uh, sebab kolaborasi ni. Uh, thank you so much sini for the for being open to this collaboration and um, to be able to work together in organizing this uh, masterclass. Happy birthday Datin Janet. And, thank you Datin Janet. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much everyone. Happy birthday. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Happy birthday Datin. Bye -bye. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.